Oh, hello everybody. Do 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 do. Snapchat live. Do 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 do. Snapchat live. Do do do. Snapchat live. Be right with you. Be there in a second. I'm outside. It's raining. You can't see that right now because all you see is my Snapchat live thing. So <laughs> wait for a few folks to jump on, and uh, we'll jump in here in a second. I just wanted to say hello, 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 hello to everybody out there. Welcome to. Uh, the Easter edition. It is Sunday. I can get my camera straight. There we go. It is Sunday. And uh, today is Easter Sunday for those of us that are Christians, follower of Jesus Christ. A massive, massive day of celebration. And for those that don't follow Jesus and they just hear the word Easter and you don't fully understand what that all is, I'm not going to go so deep into all that stuff today because there's so many other things that are out there that um, you can learn about. Not all of them are true, <laughs> but there's a lot out there for sure. Uh, but here's what I want to share with you today. Uh, one of the main things uh, for me uh, on Easter as a follower of Jesus is, um, is to understand resurrection. That's the word I want to share with you today, resurrection. All right, so for us followers of Jesus, we, uh, we believe the Bible to be the absolute truth. And besides, the Bible is also historical uh, factual backings of the circumstances and situations of that time. And uh, it's quite interesting. If you ever want to do a study on it, check some of that stuff out. It's pretty fun. Um, so what we're really talking about here was from Friday to today, right? So on Friday, what's called and labeled as Good Friday, why would, how would that be good when Jesus was beaten to a pulp, almost dead, his skin ripped from his body, his mother couldn't recognize him, his head was the size of a basketball, um, and then he's, he's nailed to a cross. I mean, how's that good? I get it. It's not. It was a big price paid for people. Um, whether you believe that he's the Messiah or not, for anybody, anyone willing to take that kind of a beating, for anyone willing to take that kind of circumstance in their life because they love other people and want to help other people, massive massive so you know when's the last time you took a beating like that <laughs> probably not so anyway that's what the Friday was about Good Friday was when Jesus actually uh, made the choice as it was a choice to go to the cross and uh, he willingly gave himself up to be beat and uh, beat to a pulp and then crucified but on Sunday um, everything that had been foretold in the Old Testament and things in the New Testament had been told, came into the fact that Jesus was resurrected, defeated death, hell, and the grave. Resurrection. So what is resurrection all about? And how can I have a resurrected life? Well, one is in the eyes of, of my faith with Jesus and understanding the resurrection that he has um, accomplished, uh, things he's been able to, to do in his life. I am... I'm a co-heir. I am part of what he's accomplished because he did it for me and I get to be resurrected in him. So for me to be resurrected means that I have to, I have to be willing to die to things, right? So that space between Friday and Sunday, Friday when, when he goes to the cross, Sunday when he's resurrected, for us in our lives, what, what do we do in those kinds of spaces in our time between a Friday and a Sunday when when you, you face a big decision, you follow through with it, but then you've got that time in between. Now, of course, there's a lot of people that were following Jesus at the time, and they're like, uh, he's dead. Like, um, do we, what do we do? Because, like, we don't know. I mean, he said he's going to come back, but he's dead. He's, in the, he's over there in the tomb. What are we going to do, right? It's a pretty tough, tough situation for folks. Uh, some folks were holding out, believing that something was going to happen. Other folks were just, they didn't know what. It was like, it was like everything was on hold, kind of kind of like right now. Kind of like we're all wondering, like, what's going on? What's going on in the world? What's going to happen? I don't know what to do. Resurrection. So I want to share with you an opportunity to experience resurrection in your own life. I'm going to share a video this week that I think will be impactful for you and for all of us. It was for me. That there's a difference between stop and pause. And my friends, I can promise you, I promise you, 
that resurrection is possible in your life. Now you have to be willing to die to make it happen. Like you can see maybe, let me flip around the screen here. All right, so see, here we go. See this big old tree right here in my backyard? Let's give it back up so you can see. I got some big trees. There's a big one in my backyard. All right, see that big tree? That's a huge tree. All right, so let's say, obviously this tree's been here for a long time. <laughs> but you know, this tree probably started out something a little bit more like that. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, it's something like that. Holy smokes, right? But even to come to that point, you know what it takes? It took a seed that went into the ground. And that seed doesn't just keep, you know, having somebody come by and take a look at it and say, oh, here's a tree. Now the seed had to go to the ground and the seed had to die. And as that seed died, it became one with its circum with the circumstances, with its, with its surroundings. And eventually life came out of the death, the death of that seed that gave birth to life to the tree like you saw behind me, right? So what are you willing to right now in your life what are you willing to die to? What are you willing to die to so that you can experience resurrection in your life? Because I promise you it can happen, I promise. Now, I'm here to celebrate Easter today. I'm here to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I love him with all my heart. If it weren't for him, folks, you wouldn't know me. I would be dead a thousand times already. I've done some stupid things in my life. I've got this stupid disease of cancer. I've told you all that I'm going in for brain surgery in two weeks to get this mass off of my brain, right? I mean, there's a lot going on in my life too. But if it weren't for him, you wouldn't know me. I'd be dead. I owe everything to him. Everything that's in me, anything good you hear from Matt Crump, I'm just not that good. I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm blessed that God, the Father, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ dwell inside of me. And, and sometimes I get it right when I tune in and listen to them sharing with me the things I need to do for my life. And then it works. Other times, not so much. I screw up. <laughs> and then you, you, know, you might read about that in the papers. So anyway, I just want to share with you a couple of things that I'm going to go more detail this week. Uh, but one, just want to celebrate with my fellow, my fellow Christians that are tuning in today and say happy Easter to you. And uh, happy Resurrection Day is really the way I should say. Um, and then for those of you that don't know Jesus, I, I mean in, in zero way to offend you or to turn you off by things I'm saying here today. But I'm hoping that you can take a, a picture of what, what I believe and live um, by today being a day of resurrection for me, that it's possible for you to have the same thing in your own life. It's possible for you to experience resurrection. And how exciting is this? You have so much opportunity and so much time right now in your life because of things that are happening right now to be able to fully engage with that resurrected life. You can fully engage with everything that is meant for you to have in your life. How amazing is that? Right, we're going to talk more about that this week. In the meantime, thank you so much, everybody, for your love, your prayers, your messages of, of, um, of love and peace and hope for me, especially during the time that I'm facing here and with my family and uh, the timing of everything. And uh, I'll talk more about that you know, as time progresses here and as we get closer to the time for my surgery date, how people can stay in touch with me. And, and uh, my wife was going to do some, some work for me uh, for however long it takes, you know, I, I don't assume I'll be out of, out of the net for a little bit, but um, you can't keep me away too long. I know it's bad. Y'all are going to be like, you need to rest, man, you need to rest. I'm, I'm sorry, but you know, this is rest for me. I, I love talking to y'all, and I enjoy being with you, and I enjoy sharing my heart with you, and I enjoy seeing you experience freedom, resurrection, and living into your call for your life. That's, that's rest for me. I love it, and um, I love you. So in the meantime... I'm still taking clients, still working, and uh, I'd love to work with you. This is a no, no better time than now, right? I mean, come on. This is a great opportunity to dig into some things in your life. If you want to do that, I'd love to help you. Just give me a shout. DM me. We'll, we'll, look at what that, uh, we'll take a look at what that is for you personally and, and see how we can tailor some stuff around uh, my schedule and yours um, before I go uh, in there and have them zap my brain, okay? All right, everybody, again, happy Easter. 
thank you so much for your love and thank you so much for listening today about how you can experience resurrection in your life. One, first and foremost, for me as a follower of Christ, there, there's no better way to experience resurrection than through him. He's the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to the Father is through him. I, I completely believe and love everything about him. I could tell you so many stories I'd love to. If you want to talk to me about it, let me know. We'll talk, we'll talk offline here. Um, but the other aspect of resurrection I'm sharing with you is that you can have resurrection in your life too. But the only way to resurrection first is death. Death, death isn't easy, but it's possible. Die to yourself. Die of the things that you think you all want and, and let it go. And as you do that, resurrection happens. Like the seed that gets planted in the ground. As it dies, life comes. And I guarantee the life that comes is better than what you thought it would be if you're willing to die. It's a big, big statement, I know. We can talk more about it if you'd like to. All right, thanks again, folks. Again, my name is Matt Crump, and uh, I am an author, a coach, a consultant, a LinkedIn content creator, and an international speaker. If I could travel internationally, can't do it now. I'd love to. I've got places I'd love to go, people I'd like to see, places I'd like to share messages with, but um, can't do it right now. We'll do it eventually, and if you'd like to talk to me about that and get stuff scheduled for uh, post-corona, then uh, let's do that too, all right? So much, so, so grateful for you. Again, just DM me here at uh, LinkedIn and I'd be more, more than happy to share with you some of those things and uh, give you some insight uh, as to how I can help you or serve you or serve your organization, your, your, uh, your business or, or you personally. Uh, either way, I'm here to serve you. I love you all. Thank you again so much. Please go check out my post today that I shared with the superstars. For Sunday Superstars today, I've got four incredible people that you'll want to check out that uh, are really making an impact in the lives of people around the world. Please go to that post. Um, check out their profile. Check out their links. I'll put it in this. I'll, re I'll edit this back at the beginning in the post, and I'll put that link here in the top so you can check out their, uh, their information as well. It's definitely, definitely worth your time. Um, I am not the only fish in the sea. I'm a small one, and there are a bunch a bunch of other ones out there and there are some that are way better than me and uh, you get a chance to check out some of those folks here today that i have highlighted on our sunday superstars all right god bless you all happy easter we'll talk again soon